somewhere in today's video I'm going to have the big reveal to you guys I'm just waiting for the courier to come and drop off the package then I can show you guys what it is and I'll sit you guys down and talk a bit about the future and what I'm planning I'm not going to give away any info for now I nearly gave it away now but I'm quickly going for a haircut so when the intro is over I'll be looking better let's roll the intro in three two one what's going on you guys welcome back to the videos first of all i want to say thank you to each and everyone for all the likes shares and comments on the previous videos you guys are really helping the channel uh it's it's really starting to take off now if it continues like this we are definitely gonna hit that 1k subscriber mark by the end of 2019 so this week started off with me needing two new Achilles tires again um, I drove the car last week and this thing rattled my brain it was terrible so I booked the car in on Monday to get the, the wheel balancing checked out I thought maybe I lost the weight on one of the wheels or something and when they pulled the tires off, I had lost another two Achilles. So that makes it four Achilles that I've lost since I put brand new tires on the car. It's four tires that I've lost in the space of nine thousand, eight or 9,000 kilometers. I've lost four brand new Achilles. And I decided that I'm going to draw the line there. We're going with a different tire, with a different size. We're gonna change up the whole thing. So the Achilles I had on the car was 235 20s and then we decided to go with the 245 20 Now the difference is not a lot. The difference is not a lot, it's very minimal. We are hoping that it's enough to absorb impacts better. I know how to drive with big wheels, I mean the roads are terrible. And not saying like I'm hitting portals or something, but there is bad patches in the road that I might hit at an, uh, at an, at an uncomfortable speed for the car or the tire. And then it takes a bit of punishment, it happens. So I'm done with Achilles, we're on 245 30s now. Fingers crossed that this one is going to be better, but obviously it didn't come without issues. When we pulled the tires off or when we pulled the rims off, I noticed that the front drop links or stabilizer bars, whatever you guys want to call it, on the driver's side is shot. I spoke to Stratton from FS Project, we're getting two new ones. Long story short, I'm still waiting for the drop links, so I'm currently driving with a car that hasn't had wheel alignment done. When I went to collect the car off the, the wheels had been fitted or the new tires had been fitted the battery was flat now the battery has been messing me around for i would say about two or three months now every now and then when i get in the car to struggle to start then i put it on the charger for a short while and then it's fine again the battery finally gave up now i couldn't start the car so i had to jump the car which i don't like in the first place but it happens so i jumped the car drove it home and i put it on the battery charger overnight came out in the morning and there was nothing we ordered a new battery obviously that didn't come without issues when i got the battery it seems like it was old stock or something i took my battery out drove to the guy swapped the batteries and when i got back home the new battery didn't have any charge in it it was sitting at about five volts now i didn't check it assuming a new battery would be fine i put the battery in the car and i went to start it and i see that there's no power i charged the battery overnight i still need to put the battery in the car because it has been on charge and I'm driving with a lone battery now from one of our other cars. The other issue that I'm having at the moment is the wheel fitment. With a slight amount that's higher and the slight amount that it's wider, the wheels are touching now in the back. When I air the car out, it actually sits the wheel arch on the tire. <laughs> That's no good. I'm on my way back home now. I'm going to pull the rear wheels off and then I'm going to use a grinder or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Probably a grinder and I'm just going to grind the inside of the wheel arch so that it fits right over the tire and when I lift it up that it goes up smooth. I'm hoping when I get back home that my package is there but I'm not sure when it's coming. I've actually got a package in the boot now. For the Polo, I got some parts in for the Polo which we're not going to discuss in today's video.
I took the inner fender lining out as you can see it's empty but basically touches it there you can see there what it does so I'm just going to use some tape and take away a little bit of this you can see there where it starts so I'm probably going to start cutting around there just take away a bit of this I'm going to use a grinder and just touch it so that it goes down because this is soft plastic so it should go easily as you can see I'm just going to take away that small section that should be enough to make the wheels fit comfortably I'm first going to finish up this passenger side and then I'm going to move over to the driver's side That's what it looks like after I cut it. Looks a little rough, but remember, that's about the most that you're going to see. Typically, going to check it from that angle, even I have some. I'm happy with that, that's perfectly fine. And we gained quite a bit of space. You can see there how much I went back, so that should be perfect. This is what it looks like after cutting. As you can see there's enough room now for the tire to go in, it's actually not touching, you can see how it moves. So this will also mean that I'll be able to drive the car slightly lower than before because before if I drove it low, as soon as I hit a bump it would touch the arches, so now I'll be able to drive it a bit lower without any issues. Um, great success. Next up, we're just waiting for the package to arrive then I can show you guys, sit down, talk to you guys See, unfortunately I missed the courier on Friday I think it was for a total of five minutes that there was not someone at home and that must have been the time that I missed them it was just before five unfortunately I did not get my package before the weekend I'm most likely going to make an entire separate video next week of the package I'll probably get it tomorrow which is Monday then I'll make a separate video of that and coming to think of it if I look back in five or ten years time then I would definitely appreciate having its own video for that package. I think it worked out well. Sorry that I kept you guys waiting in this video, but just like you guys were waiting for the big news, I was sitting and waiting for my package all of Friday. Unfortunately, it did not work out that way. With regards to the fitment, I'm pretty sure you guys would have seen that I'm able to roll much, much lower now without any issues. I'm extremely excited about that. That is going to be all for today's video. You guys do not want to miss the next one. It's probably going to come out Tuesday or Wednesday whenever I get the package. I'll sit down, make the video, edit it and put it out to you guys. That's going to be a big one. Like I said, you guys definitely don't want to miss that one. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and reflect your passion. Uh, 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 uh.